Shirley says, should I be the one texting all the time where he's not texting me back regularly? I feel he's pulling back. No, you should not be texting all the time where he's not texting back regularly. It needs to be a back and forth. A couple days ago, I did a video on making a man value you and that one I would definitely suggest going and watching because that's all about making sure that you put yourself in a really powerful position so that when he pulls back, it's really not a big deal for you and it doesn't feel so bad and you don't wanna be like, smothering a guy. That was another one I did was a, a video on texting mistakes. And one of the things you want to make sure that you're not doing is chasing him and smothering him. You want to make it at least kind of like a 50-50 or 30-70 where you're messaging him 30% of the time, he's doing it 70% or 50-50 where you're both kind of messaging each other back and forth. And if he's kind of pulling back, what you want to do is kind of pull back as well because you don't want to smother him and end up just being all, all on top of him and all over him and him being like, oh my God, I can't deal with this anymore. And so you need to kind of pull back a little bit if you're constantly the one reaching out and just give him some space. Space gives people a lot. Uh, it, it's There's a th saying out there like absence makes the heart grow fonder and it's totally true. And so you don't want to be all over a guy, especially if he's not messaging back. It, it guy, guys actually do this as well. There's a there's a lot of guys that that make this mistake as well. And what you want to do is just just kind of lean back and let him, you know, go back and forth and whatever. It's not a big deal if you're like reaching out to him, but I mean, if he's not like really really reaching out back to you, you might want to just chill out for a little bit, take a few days, and just you know, find some dogs to pet and, you know, get busy with some work and hobbies and stuff like that and just give them some space and then, you know, wait a few days, a week, something like that. Reach out back to him if he hasn't reached out to you yet or whatever because if you're like messaging a guy a whole bunch and then all of a sudden you like take that away and pull back and just chill, the guy's going to be like, you know, at first he's gonna be like, oh man, she's, you know, she's, she's messaging me a lot or what, whatever, you know, depending on how long you guys have been seeing each other and where he is as far as his attraction level goes. And then if you pull that back and just kind of, it kind of creates like a vacuum and he's gonna be like, oh, what happened to her messaging me all the time? Maybe I should message her and find out what's going on or see if she's, you know, everything's still cool with her. And, and so a lot of times guys will end up messaging back out for you. And so you'll just want to, my suggestion is just chill out. You know, I don't know how often you're messaging him, but you might want to just chill out.